he killed the personality of a salty and cracker. So it was like mad maniac. Da -da 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 maniac. It's giving one dimensional vibes. Hello everybody. Welcome to the video. My hands flat, please do not mind. Please just ignore it, okay? So I have nothing to hold my hair back apart from a scrunchie, but I don't want to do that when it's wet. So, anyways, <laughs> what am I saying? Oh yeah, I've been in a reading slump for a while. So, but I think I'm slowly coming out of it. Touch wood. I started reading the summer I turned pretty because I needed something easy, and I've only got like 20 pages left, and I think that has really, really helped. I also think that I was reading way too many dark and like long heavy books at once i'm okay i'm doing okay i'm extremely busy but it's ridiculous um so i don't actually have that much time to read anyways so this weekend i'm gonna try and just chill read a bit more and play sims also at 3am there's a bts ring fair concert so i'm gonna be up watching that if i won't get much sleep but it's worth it for bts Hello everyone, let's chat while I get ready for bed. Um, I'm not going to bed, but I'm just putting them on my eyelid. Rewind, Daisy. Um, I'm just going to put on my pyjamas. That's about it. Um, but let's chat while I did so. Ooh. Um, I finished an audiobook called The Knox. I started it yesterday and I'd give it like maybe like a two star. Because it wasn't bad, I really enjoyed the performance of it. It's, it's um, I really enjoyed the performance because it's only sold as an audiobook um, at the minute, and it was only released, I think, ten days ago, nine days ago. But I thought the performance was really good. Um, I just didn't really know what was going on. It was a little confusing. Um, but it was a unique concept, and there was times. Well, I'd probably give it like a two point five stars maybe um because it, it was like mid for me personally um it's a book that's set in 2045 in the arctic circle and this woman goes on an expedition to find polar bears again so the book is about it's like it's set in the future about 20 years in the future which is actually not that long away which terrified me when you think about it but basically it's about this group of scientists and they're like we're gonna go see if we can find any polar bears left in the arctic circle because none have been seen for about 20 years they went extinct in 2025 in this book which is terrifying because that's like three years away for, for, for present time oh my God, i'm like stuttering so i'm so excited and i read it like the synopsis and i was like oh that sounds really interesting 
and turns out and it said but things could be more eerie than they think and it's a thriller so like some people have gone to the arctic circle in her group of expedition people yes yeah, some people have gone for different reasons suspicious reasons and then things start to go wrong and the thriller really short it's three hours and 57 minutes and i played sims while i listened to it acting really really good um the story itself i did enjoy it but i feel like it 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 wasn't very clear um like what was going on <laughs> like if you asked me to describe the plot i wouldn't be able to <laughs> like i'm not really sure what to say about it it there was a lot of different scenes in one go so like it would swap to like different perspectives but like you weren't sure whether it was like a dream, whether it was waking reality, whether it was um, a nightmare, whether it was the past, the present, the future. Like, you had no idea. It didn't say that. Like, in the audiobook, I would have preferred if it said, like... Well, I guess that that's how the story was told, but I get why it was told that way. It just wasn't, like, outstanding to me personally. So that's my little... <laughs> review if you want to go read it um i do recommend it if you like like performancey audiobooks ones that have like a full cast i do recommend that because the performance the acting and the the music in the background was really atmospheric and i loved it the story itself though was a bit of a lead but anyways i'm gonna finish the summer i turn pretty now i've got about 30 pages left so i'm gonna finish this now i'm gonna go downstairs and drink my water while i do that um i'm really anxious for work tomorrow um yeah and my emotions are a bit all over the place i'm a little bit like not sure how i feel i'm like i'm worried about my writing as well because i haven't done that much this month um and i'm just kind of like on the verge of giving up but my dad gave me a pep talk and he said, just keep going. And I was like, thanks dad, I really needed that because he reminds me of my goals when I'm like in one of my depressed states. He always says like, okay Jace, stick to the plan. You made a plan, didn't you? We made a plan together. You can do that, take a breather and just carry on. So yeah, I recommend my dad for pep talks if anyone wants one. <laughs>
I'm not on my sim call for work, I start in about two minutes, I just thought I'd do a quick update before I start. I've had a terrible day so far, I've had a terrible morning. <laughs> um, but you know, we're going to try and look past it and move on. Um, last night I started reading Babel, the books on my bed, I can't even to get it, but this is what it looks like. Um, I've read 30 pages and I really like it so far. Um, I'm excited to read some more of it, like in my breaks, and later tonight. So, yeah, that's what's happening, that's my little update. I'm just full of anxiety today. So if you hear some of it, it's coming from my headphones, but I gotta go to work now, so... I've gotta take attendance, so... Hi! <laughs> I've had an awful day, and it's a really hot one. I still have to work three more hours, um, but as soon as I turn off the Zoom call, I... I'm putting my pyjamas on. Well, I'm going to have a shower. Put my pyjamas on. And hopefully read for the entire evening. And then watch a movie. Um, that's my plans. But it was... This day. Hopefully it gets better. Like, there was some highlights in that time. But, um... <sighs> yeah. I'm okay. In my free time, I've been doing a little bit of journaling. Um, I have started doing my red bubble stickers as well. By the way, so I need to stick those in. Two of them were wrong though. <coughs> two of them were wrong though. Sorry, I said that they're like a demon. Um, two of them are wrong. So I have to send a complaint and I'll get them at some point. But I'm doing a wheel. I'm, I'm just trying a new spread for my and so how because then I can track um, my how I feel because I'm always a bit up and down um, so I'm gonna have one for anxiety and one for my OCD so I got cut off that one for my anxiety and one for my OCD um, but I might not do one for my OCD I might just do one for how, how like I'm feeling in the day my overall mood because I feel like OCD is hard to measure um, but I could either have like a good OCD day or a bad OCD day, so it's like all like normal. So I want to see, just try it out, you know. Um, it's hard to measure OCD though. Um, but the way that I measure it personally is that I call it like the OCD isn't as loud today. It's like the thoughts I'm getting from my OCD, they're not as like debilitating. Um, so. Yes, I'm trying that out, and I'm just basically trying out things that I, I'm not sure whether I want in my 2023 journal, I'm just like, trying different things, seeing how it goes. Yeah, I might change up the water intake one, I might draw a jug and then colour in how much I drank that day, or a glass maybe, that might work, because I, I used to just do like a box, but now it's like let's get creative with it you know what i mean um and then i'll obviously have the, the normal habits like walking the dog um but i do, I do want to add a couple more actually i want to add like waking up before 10 um like brushing my teeth when i'm like in a when i'm not feeling mentally well my hygiene goes out the window which i know a lot of people relate to that but that's not good because then my OCD is like, oh girly, I feel terrible. So it, this is what it's like to be like wet. Anyways, I'm, <laughs> that was just a little talk I'm, I'm doing in my journal for November. It's Hades Town themed. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try out some things, see if I like them. And I know that for 2023, it, it will be my first year journaling like the entire year because I started in May this year. So I want to do a year in pixels um, spread. Um, whereas now I do it like monthly, how my day was. So I'm going to do that till the end of the year and then I'll change it over to the pixel thing next year. I um, believe the year's almost over. I cannot, so much has happened. Um, but I need to go back to work now. So, love you, bye. <laughs>
bit longer. I'm very excited to go to sleep. But before I do that, I started reading. It's not the the world world. Here. The second book in the Summer I Turn Pretty series. And I'm about four pages in. Actually, probably like, yeah, four pages. Um, and I don't have high hopes. I have low expectations for this book because the first one was... I gave it three stars and I enjoyed it because it was like the TV show. But now, apparently, there's going to be a love triangle. Well, there was a love triangle in, in the show, but it was, like, enjoyable to watch. But the only love triangle that I've read that I actually, like, enjoyed reading was The Infernal Devices, Chef's Kiss. Go read that if you haven't already. It's amazing. Anyways, about this book. I flipped through it and it turns out we have multiple perspectives. I don't know how long that is for, whether it's just a one-off, but I was like, that's interesting. So I want to carry on reading to read from that person's perspective, but they might severely irritate me. Um, but I think that it's really helping with my reading slump because it doesn't require much thought. I was reading Babel or Babel. I'm calling it Babel. Um, and... I think I need to read a little bit of it a day, um, because I am enjoying it, but, like, it's very much, like, heavy prose, um, but this is just, like, big font, easy, short, teenagers literally complaining about nothing, um, whereas Babel is more serious and, like, inquisitive and has meaning not that this book doesn't have meaning but it's like you know what i mean it's like your cutesy summer romance type of vibe anyways i've been talking for way too long anyways i'm gonna read some of this and then i'm gonna go to bed but first i'm gonna speak to my best friend because i love her i need to update her on what's been going on in my life Okay, I'm on chapter two. I'm on page eight. And I'm just thinking, like, we have missed, there's like a year time gap. So, like, I, they didn't tell me what happened in that time between, like, the love interest and the main character. But now they're broken up. And I'm like, I didn't even see them together, though. So why should I care? You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even see them together. And I have a feeling that that's what this book's going to be about. Well, like, I I want there to be flashbacks. I want to know what happened. Is there going to be flashbacks? Because there was flashbacks in the first book. And that was, like, the element I really liked. There's literally no flashbacks. All I see is, like, chapter one, chapter two. Ooh, different perspective, though. So, but that's not what I wanted. Because this is... Am I reading the right book? Like, I'm convinced I'm reading the wrong book right now. Is this a... It's not someone without you. What? Why did they... Why did she skip so far? I'm sorry, but I wanted to see them together if I spent 300 pages rooting for them. Or, like, being intrigued, I guess. But, like... What? That's disappointing. This is giving... This is giving two-star vibes at the minute. No, actually, one stuff. One stuff vibes, but I am only eight pages in. So let's calm down. Okay. I'm sorry, these time lapses are really short because I keep pausing them. But I'm on chapter three now. I'm on page 12 and I just got like a rundown of what happened in the last year since we've seen them. Turns out not much happened. They technically weren't even together. They were just like, they both knew they liked each other and they'd like speak on the phone. And, um, <laughs> you know, um, and then he'd like drive to her house, but he wouldn't try and kiss her or anything. 
And I'm like, Gally, if you're driving for three and a half hours, I would expect you to kiss me. I'm sorry. Why wouldn't we part? Anyways, besides the point. Belly is giving very much like my only personality trait is I'm in love with this person. Like, I honestly don't know what her hobbies are. Her hobby is literally summer, swimming, Conrad, Jeremiah. And I'm like, it's giving one dimensional vibes. Not even two dimensional, one dimensional. I'm just being harsh because I've, I've had a bad day. I, she wasn't like this in the first book though. I think it was because I, I already knew the story, but because this is like new story. So like what was in the first book was kind of like a TV show and I love the TV show. But this is different. And I'm like, Gelly. Been a year, but you still sound 15. Like, I could excuse her thought processes because she was 15, but now she's almost 17. And Gally is like. <laughs> what I will say the wording around mental health. bit iffy but this book was written 12 years ago so i'm gonna let it slide a little bit i'm just gonna be like okay we said it like that but um let's move on and then we'll see if it's ever worded in that way again <laughs> let's carry on Sleep now, but I'm trying to just chop, chop. Hello, I am on chapter five. I'm 30 pages in, underwhelmed so far. Um, that's what I was expecting, to be honest. Um, but I'm gonna go to bed now. Well, I'm in bed, I'm gonna go to sleep on. Um, I was going to read another chapter, but then I flicked through and I saw that the next chapter was like 15 pages long and I was like, I cannot do that right now. So, um, it's a one that has kind of a dark topic, so I didn't really want to end my day on that. I thought I'd just kind of end it where chapter four ended. It was a really short chapter, the first of a different character perspective, and that perspective was really overwhelming. Underwhelming, I mean... <laughs> It was the two characters, they read exactly the same um, at the minute, but it was a really short chapter, so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But anyways, good night. I have to work tomorrow. <sighs> but then I can have a day off, so it's fine. Okay, bye. Hello, good morning. What's the wetty hot drink yet? What the heck? I ran out of milk. So I don't have any coffee. Milk in my coffee. It's another day. I'm feeling I had a terrible day yesterday. But I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling awake. An hour ago, I did not feel awake. I was so tired I had to snooze my alarm to get like a little bit extra sleep. And I didn't even go to bed late. I went to bed early. And I still felt exhausted. But I need to take attendance. And yeah, we know how I feel about the book I'm reading. You just saw it a second ago. Um, I still have low hopes. Um, but in my breaks today, hopefully I'll be able to read some babble. Because I want to. So while on the Zoom call, I will have a break at some point. Um, so I might be able to read a couple pages. But each page um, takes me like five minutes to read. So... Um, yeah, but I've got to go. I've got to attend this now, so. Mm.
mistakes and that's just happened but I am is enthralled the right word? I'm intrigued um it's been pretty heavy on like the world building at the minute um but I'm halfway through book one because it's separate into books but I like it and I'm glad I didn't read this last night because it would have been way too heavy for me but I'm glad that I decided to read a little bit now and I might read a bit more later um but it's a very heavy book so I've got to be careful it doesn't make me go back into a reading slump so yeah hello everybody I am currently on a book buying ban I started the book buying ban like three days ago right but I've just been paid and I'm going to a bookshop today. <laughs> so chances are I might buy a book. But I'm only going to limit myself to like one or two. And I think it's ones. Because like I pre-ordered Foul Lady Fortune. Like I pre-ordered it in April and it was supposed to come last month. It's been published for a month still haven't got it. So I'm thinking I go into the shop see if they have the edition that I wanted. If they do I'll buy it. I'll cancel my I'll cancel my order um but if not then I'll just wait I'll carry on waiting um so I'm gonna try and not get any other books just that one that's the only thing I'm letting myself do so it's technically still a book buying ban because I've already bought that book but I'm like cancelling it if that makes sense and then also I'm gonna go to the stationery shop um get some stationery and I also need to get a frame because I'm going to put like positive words in a frame because my brain has been mean to me recently so I need to have something on my desk when I'm writing so I'm like okay this isn't pointless let's keep going hello I'm editing and I just wanted to pop in and say that I actually do break my book buying ban don't hate me um the whole fellow Lady Fortune thing did not work out because at my branch that I go to no one's received it it's not just me it's like a whole list of people so yeah but I bought the first book of the School for Good and Evil series because I loved the film and I think I want to do a journals brand on it to be honest um but yeah and also the little frame thing that I'm talking about now I ended up getting a £1.50 easel and I wrote on it stick to the plan a little canvas and that's really helped me because I've written so much today I'm feeling positive so anyways back to the video because it's all busy thing right now part writing but I'm getting my nails done these have lasted really well. Normally I like peel off my nail varnish, which I'm not supposed to do because it ruins the nail. But I haven't done that with any of them. So I don't know what colour I'm gonna get. Maybe something dark. Maybe. Um but yeah, I didn't read yesterday. Um I don't know. I'm currently watching what's it called? The Watcher. And it's like mid. It's mid. I'm intrigued. It's like a thriller, horror, weird thing, but it's like a little bit boring, so I'm not like, it's giving like three star vibes kind of thing, um, but yeah, that's my plan for today. Trina, what's up my coffee? Amazing. Bear with. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to another Daisy Reads at night time. I was not planning to read, I was planning to get in bed and scroll on TikTok, but then all of a sudden I got an urge. I was like, let's just carry on reading my book. I'm almost halfway through. It's not summer without you. I'm enjoying it, but that doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> I'm enjoying reading it. And if you, I'm kind of like, like it's not like, classic literature but like quality writing i'm reading it's not my favorite by this author but it's helping me get out of a reading slump and i am it's just easy okay like the girly the main character she is so first world problems e um if that makes sense um <laughs> i'm on page 87 and I read quite a bit while I was waiting to get my nails done. Um, earlier. Look. Shit. So elegant. Oh, wow. So I'm going to read for a little bit. Then I'll probably, like, 
Pass out. That's why. Will I be able to finish this before the end of the month? Maybe. But I'm not going to force myself. Um, I've had a bad reading month. But that's okay. No matter what I mean. Um, I'm going to read now. Enjoy this time lapse. Did he date her? Does matter. I'm prettier. Or I'm thinking. Look how everything just fit. They're not. Um, it's about on the inside that counts. And your insides must be stuffing. Because you have the personality of a salty and cracker. So. Anyways, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Let's <laughs> carry Oh my god, I swooned. Okay. When we came back inside, I put my freezer caps on his cheeks and instead of pushing them away, he said, Ah, oh, feels so good. I laughed and said, That's because you're cold hearted. He put my hands in his coat pockets and said, Your voice so soft, I wish you might have a word. For everyone else, maybe. This fictional man has, has me wet. My eyes are starting to hurt, but I'm on page 147. I think I read like 60 pages. <laughs> oh, let me go. What's the time? It's, it's 8 minutes past 11. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Hello, everybody. I'm going to end this reading book here. Hope you enjoyed. It was an emotional roller coaster. Um, and yeah, follow me on TikTok for daily journaling videos. Also, follow me on Instagram. And also, here are all the places you can buy my book. It's a historical fantasy with an autistic main character with time travel. That's how I'm pitching it to you. But, anyways, I'm going to go to bed now. Love you. Good night.